hello guys welcome back in the last lecture we have discussed all about the FTP accounts I hope you are understood as well all about the FTP accounts another options available inside the file section have a FTP connection and the names FTP git control version git version control so those are not important but you can use them for your personal usage or you can use them but in my case I do not use them and I go back again inside my cPanel and I'm gonna show you the important thing on there this is optional this is optional but more than user do not I think uh, do not using that important thing on there have a file manager and direct privacy and FTP accounts those two things are very important inside the file section let's talk about the uh, databases the database is very very important to manage your website database so you can uh, use the database section to create your own database you can upload the database you can export the database you can do that so first thing is first let's talk about the php my admin i'm gonna click on that inside php my admin you will able to see all the databases have been appeared inside this section I'm gonna show you that each database have a each uh, side for example this is a my tube class baby databases inside the database have a uh, tables those are related on my site and which used to run the WordPress and also PHP sites without database you can't run the PHP site and also WordPress site and you can also uh, upload another type of website with database you can do that so you can create your own database then database will create a display inside them you can perform the operations like uh, you can check out the databases right there and this is a skill query you can write the skill query as you want you can export the database you can do that I will tell you on later how you can uh, make a backup of uh, the WordPress website and how you can make a backup with PHP website but this time you need to know usage of PHP my admin so here is a option import do you want to import any database you can do that and this is a setting you can use that to check out the details on there and this is the variables those are another options on there but important thing on there have all the databases which are related to your site or your web application so I'm gonna show you how you can use them so I go to cPanel again and this is a MySQL databases first I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna show you inside them so do you want to create a database you can use the default uh, extension like tube class and underscore then write the database name but I will tell you how you can create a database with another way this is a not good way to create a database inside the MySQL database I'm going to show you how you can create a database and how you can assign the uh, username and password so I go to again uh, databases section and I'm going to show you everything okay I again okay just a minute I click again advanced and this is my PHP admin right this is my so I want to create my own database so I, I need to click on MySQL database wizard and write the database name for example I'm I'm gonna write the database name is uh, Udemy. Then the database will create inside PHP my admin with the name of tube class underscore Udemy. Let's see. I click to next. And inside there you need to assign or uh, create a username. So I need to open Notepad bec uh, because I need to add the information on there. We will use the information to assign the uh, user with the particular database I'm gonna show you 
so what is your username i'm going to use the same username and password also same udemy udemy you can also generate the password from there but in my case i just use this way so uh, the database name is udemy underscore class i'm going to copy that just a minute paste on there and my username is also database name and username and i'm going to click to create a user once you do that then you need to select all the privileges means this user will able to perform the all the operation inside the particular database with the name of tube class underscore udemy means who will able to perform the all operation alter create uh, remove the tables and do anything else which are included inside this section so you need to uh, click all privileges or you can select anyone as you want in my case i use all privileges and i go to and click to next step everything is complete complete the task so you have uh, made the username and database from mysql database wizard so let's see inside php my admin ignore all just click ignore all because it's uh, running on the server so i need to again refer that uh sorry detect okay i need to open that again i go to again advanced and i'm going to show you the particular database i open php my admin and then i extract the as you can see guys tube class underscore database has been appeared inside the php my admin but you can't see inside the database have any table so you can uh, install the wordpress on this one database you can do that you can uh, upload the php website on this database you can do that i will tell you on later but this time you need to know the usage of database right so let's see how you can assign the username and uh, password inside your uh, particular database so you need to go on uh, mysql databases inside there you need to assign the database uh, no i already created database you don't need to use this one method and you need to go on blow on there and you need to just uh, no you need to go on on there you need to select the username what is the username that you have made to creating a database and you need to assign the database like this one you can also use this one method to create a user and also create a database but inside there you will create a database and user but you can't assign the uh, features like uh, uh, all privileges or any permission you can't do that so you will face problem so you need to use the previous method to create a database and username that will help you to manage all the things without facing any problem right so i go back uh, go down and inside the add user to database you need to select the particular username and particular database and click to add once you add that then your database as you can see so you need to click make changes checkbox all the things right and go to again no i i need to wait i go to again advanced and i go to mysql databases and go down and as you can see your database has been appeared inside there tube class underscore udemy you need to save this one information because you will i'm going to also assign the password udemy 
so you can use this one information to upload the particular website like php based website i'm going to show you on later how you can upload the php based website with database so you can use this one method to assign the uh, database name uh, username password inside your application then your application data will match with your database then your application will be running on the web right so uh i think everything is clear on there and other thing is is have a password change or delete you can perform any operation on there like change password rename the username right this is the current user which are included inside this section so i hope you are understood as well all about the database section inside there have another database you can use the same way to create a database like a post sql databases so you can use the same thing which are used inside the php my admin mysql database to create a database create a user you can do the same thing to create a post sql databases and also use same thing to create a database username and anything else which are included inside the database section so i hope you understood as well thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture